I'd like to continue my discussion about internet security with a, 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 a description of a of a, a improvement to TLS that I have. Uh, as you know, TLS is used to secure all the data that we move over the internet. Uh, it relies on uh, the public and private key and the chain of trust that I've discussed before. And while using the public and private key, uh, TLS establishes so-called session keys, which are symmetric keys. Uh, they're temporary. Uh, they make the data encryption much faster than the public and private key encryption. Uh, but there is an issue with uh, TLS, which it, although it's really good, uh, and that is that uh, the data is being uh, monitored by somebody, almost always, and uh, as they collect that data, they can do some number crunching and eventually discern what the encryption keys are, and they can decrypt your data that they've captured and uh, see what you did. And this may take uh, a week, a month, or a year, but eventually anything you transmit over the internet can be uh, hacked into and discovered. So uh, they have ways of uh, discouraging that or impeding that, and uh, that concept is forward secrecy, but I think it can be improved upon. So if you remember, uh, TLS first starts with uh, a public and private key. It says private key, both both key, and a public key. And you make sure that you're talking to the organization that you uh, expect it to, like uh, your bank or eBay or Facebook or whatever. Uh, and uh, once you know that, you're using the private key here, public key here, you establish some faster keys, but they're kind of short. We call those symmetric keys. And, uh, and then you start transmitting data back and forth. So what I suggest is uh, just a little bit of improvement to this scenario. And that is <clears throat> uh, shortly after you do the the, the public private key uh, exchange you make a, uh, a session key that is very long and so long that no hacker will ever figure out what it is basically so uh, immaterial in, in your lifetime basically 10 years 100 years whatever but that will be extremely slow so the encryption with that Key will be extre extremely slow so you don't want to use it for all your data what you do want to do is when you set up a uh, an important session with uh, a, an important uh, organization such as your bank uh, and so uh, the information that you pass over there they kind of call it PII personally identifiable information but it could be something even more uh, important like uh, uh, a bank account number, credit card number, uh, uh, transaction record, or some stuff like that. But encryption of that will be will be uh, very slow because you've established uh, very very long keys to use in the second place, and then you exchange a little bit of data, the very important data, and use that very important data to set up a temporary. Uh, uh, <clears throat> cross-reference number and we're all used to cross reference numbers but you can do that and then uh, with all further transmissions you will use the standard key to uh, do a transaction with your data here with this cross-reference number so <clears throat> this cross-reference number is only good for this one session uh, <clears throat> and Decrypting the cross-reference number and the transaction information will never uh, reveal any meaningful information to any hacker. And so if they do, do it this way, uh, 
all data transmissions, especially for important transactions, will be uh, virtually secure forever.